Hello everyone, my name is Xun Qian from Purdue University. Today I'm going to present our work Scalar, Altering Semantically Adaptive Augmented Reality Experiences in Virtual Reality. Recently, semantic understanding techniques have been adopted in AR system developments, such as synthesizing spatial movements of AR pads, optimizing AR interface layouts around the user, and generating realistic avatar behaviors based on the affordance of the engaging objects. All of this work achieves semantic level association, where the error content behaviors are tied to associate with not only the location, but also the affordance, functions, and semantics of the physical objects. So the digital augmentation can be more seamlessly and intuitively delivered to the end users. Meanwhile, this work implements computational algorithms to ensure such association can be adaptively maintained in different environments, as long as the same objects are detected. This is what we call a semantically adaptive AR experience. However, the AR content behaviors in these works are predefined by the programmer sitting in front of a computer. But in real environments, there are dissimilarities of the room layouts, duplication or absence of the physical objects, which may introduce implicit semantic variations that are difficult to be pre-considered during the programming stage, especially when the designer is not situated in the target environment. And for the users who have limited coding experience, it's also hard to design and customize the AR experience with their domain expertise. We aim to enable designers to create such AR experiences while fully leveraging the semantics in all the potential target environments. Virtual reality is a good solution. On one hand, VR can immerse users into a 3D virtual scene to intuitively alter the virtual content behaviors using the surroundings as spatial and semantic references. It also has the spatial flexibility so that the user can easily travel across different scenes without leaving the current location. So, here comes our main idea. Using VR, we provide AR designers with multiple realistic virtual replica of the physical environments and let them immersively alter the semantic association. Then, we distill the demonstrations in all the provided virtual scenes as a mathematic model to deploy the AR experience in different environments, which becomes our proposed system, Scalar. Now, let me briefly talk about the overall idea of the Scalar workflow. Using Scalar, the AR designer first authors the semantic association in two levels. The designer has to define which physical objects hold the most relevant affordance with AR content. We call it identity association. Meanwhile, the designer should also ensure the placement of the AR content is accurate. We call it spatial association. For instance, this AR lamp should be placed at the corner of the coffee table next to the sofa to deliver its digital augmentation to this consumer. Remember, we also want the adaptation capability, which means the AR content should be able to respond to the variations in different environments. We consider two types of variations that commonly happen around us. First, the locations and sizes of the physical objects can be different. We call it spatial variation. Of course, the designer needs to modify the AR content behaviors accordingly. For instance, if all the tables are too far from the sofa, the designer wants to place the AR lamp on the armrest of the sofa. Second, the quantity of each object can also be different, or the object is even not there. Scalar provides such scenario and let the designer to modify the design as well. For example, what if there's no table in a small living room? After the authoring session, we record all the designer's demonstrations of the semantic associations and their all the provided scene variations, and group them accordingly for the fitting of the mathematic model. We call this model semantic adaptation model, which is used to procedurally determine the AR content placement given a new physical scene. I will cover it later. Above is the overview of the Scalar workflow. Next, I will explain some key implementations of Scalar. First, how does Scalar generate those virtual scenes with spatial and quantity variations? After raising a basic idea of the target deploying environment, the designer invites potential AR consumers to collect their local environments as samples, using the scene collection modules of Scalar. Here, we adopt the combination of 2D object tracking and 3D scene understanding to get both the identity and spatial properties of the physical objects. AR consumers just follow the guidance to scan the environments, and final outcome will be displayed as 3D labeled bounding boxes. Then, for each collected scene, we apply a genetic algorithm to synthesize more virtual scenes with the scene variations mentioned before. And we render them using pre assigned CAD models to construct the VR authoring environment. Now, we show the VR authoring interface of Scalar. 
We use an AR video display in a cooking tutorial as an example. Our system allows the designer to explicitly define the identity association using line connections, such as this countertop to be the primary binding physical objects of the AR display. In order to eliminate the ambiguity of the duplicated objects and consider the multi-binding object cases, the designer can also define reference binding objects as the additional reference. Here, the designer wants the AR display to be always placed on the countertop near the ranges to play some cooking tutorial. Meanwhile, the designer can intuitively manipulate the AR contents to define the spatial associations using surroundings as spatial reference. Then, the designer uses the scene cursor to travel across all the provided virtual scenes and verify the design. Initially, we apply the ordered association in all the scenes, so only when the scene variation causes semantic ambiguity or spatial inaccuracy would the designer enter that scene and modify the association. For the other scenes, the association will be automatically recorded. After the designer validates all the scenes, the VR authoring session is complete. Then, our system starts to feed the semantic adaptation model. Since the designer may change the identity association due to the spatial variations, we first feed an SVM model for each semantic group to predict which physical object should be used as the identity association under the current physical layout. Next, for each case of the activated identity association, we develop an algorithm to determine the AR content spatial location. Please refer to the paper for more details of the fitting process. Finally, back in AR, Scalar deploys the AR experience to a new environment using the semantic adaptation model. First, we check whether there exists an SVM model that takes some of the involving physical objects and inputs. Here is an important consideration. If our system doesn't find any applicable SVM model, we won't render the AR content. For instance, if the designer creates a living room decoration AR app, most of the AR contents won't be suitable for a kitchen environment. In contrast, if the system finds a proper model, it adopts the model to get the activated identity association, then calculates the local spatial attributes of the AR content and renders it in the environment. For example, for the deployment of the cooking tutorial, AR consumers scan their local kitchen layouts using the same scene collection module, and Scalar adaptively renders the altered AR contents using the semantic adaptation model. Thank you for watching. For more details such as the use cases and user studies, please refer to our paper and video.